guys I was wrong about in the NFL. Guys I was very high about coming out of college. Guys I was lower on coming out of college and proved me wrong. We'll talk about a list of players that I was thinking about that I just got outright wrong. I'll tell you whether I was very high on them, why I was, and it just didn't work out. And we could classify this. Uh, I've seen this on Instagram for Jeff on Sports. He does great um, NBA content. And he tweets out reasons why I wouldn't be a good GM. And I want to kind of pivot off of that for the NFL. Reasons why I wouldn't be a good GM. Number one, Trey Lance. I'm still a believer, but that's my delusion, making sure that I am still a believer. Is there a world where Trey Lance can have a Geno Smith career? Maybe. I mean, at least Geno played a little bit. I just, I saw the path. I saw the light of this guy who is a super raw prospect sitting for a little bit and then getting that opportunity. And I'm just so sad that he got injured that year. Now, obviously, you get Brock Purdy that same season. And I'm sure Niners fans wish they didn't trade up and waste that pick. But I saw the vision. I thought he was a dark horse MVP candidate and the copium that I was having after that Bears loss. Everyone knows about that game because that's when the Justin Fields hype, I think, really started to build was them running in that water. And I, I chalked it up to bad uh, bad weather on why he played so poorly. And it just sounds like from reports, the guy, like, it just has not clicked that he's that guy behind the scenes. And unlike Jordan Love, like, you don't see these crazy moments. It, it was always up and down. It was inconsistencies. And I want to see him get a real chance because, honestly, it reminds me so much of the Markel Fultz effect. And at least Markel has built out, built out a role in the NBA and started playing. But for the longest, it's just the mystery of what Trey Lance is because you just don't know. Because once once Purdy came in, he had an opportunity to beat him in camp, and it was a red flag that he couldn't even beat guys like Sam Darnold. And maybe he was just defeated at that point because he went from being this number three overall pick to now can like barely be on the roster. And apparently... According to reports, ear to the ground in Dallas is he's like verge of getting cut in Dallas. He's not even their backup. I think it's still Cooper Rush. I don't know, man. I want Trey Lance to work out. I'm very curious if he's going to play in the preseason. Like, I want to see him live in an action. But I was very wrong. Another guy that I was wrong about. Because we're, we're going to make these multiple parts. Reasons why I was a not. Reasons why I would not be a good NFL GM. Isaiah Simmons. I thought he would work. And maybe he's carved out a pretty solid role with the Giants. But I thought he could have been so special. And I think he if he was coming out in today's draft. I think people would play him more at safety in that uh, nickel role or that slot corner role and see if he would work out. I think the Cardinals drafted him and really didn't know what to do with his talent. And maybe it's because when you're a jack of all trades and you're not elite in one aspect with football, but you're just good kind of everywhere. It's the same thing that I felt with Jabril, Pre Jabril Peppers. A guy that was just really good everywhere, but didn't really hone into one area. And the ceiling is so high, but then the floor is much lower than I think people anticipate. And good for Jabril because he has carved out and I think had his best year this year with the Patriots. But Isaiah Simmons, also who has had his best year with the Giants, just wasn't like I thought this dude was so cool coming out of college for the fact that he could just play everywhere and he was an athletic freak of nature. His combine was legendary. Him and Madden, I, at the time, as someone that was a big Madden head, I was like, dude, this dude's going to be an awesome card to play with. And yeah, my bias was whooping me. But yeah, I was dead wrong about Isaiah Simmons. Reasons why I wouldn't be a good NFL GM. Jalen Hurts. I was not a believer. As someone that followed SEC football very closely and then watched him at Oklahoma, it was 
the the area that was whooping me and it was the immatureness of my draft analysis because every every person that likes to follow the draft grows in maturity of what is their biases why are they saying the things that they are and to me i was comparing and contrasting to other players in the lincoln riley system and that was hindering my opinion i was like out of kyler and baker jalen hurts was obviously the least progressed as a passer he had great mobility when it came to running through people but it wasn't this twitchy athlete and I was just like outright not very high on the ceiling of what he could be. I thought he would be a, like, I'm not kidding what I said. Like, I thought it was a reach to draft him at the spot that he was. I was like, yeah, he works really hard. He's had that progression. He's an older quarterback um, that lost his job. Like, I was a doubter. Like, if Jalen Hurts wants receipts, I was a doubter and he has proved me wrong. And I, I've become a guy that's just like respects the work ethic that he has, even though he talks in Instagram captions. But I think that's just a funny bit. I mean, even Shea Gilchrist Alexander does the same thing. But yeah, I was very, very wrong about Jalen Hurts. He's a great quarterback. I think I even overrated him last year, putting him in the top five. And now I think he is kind of mellowed out into that five to 10 range. And he got paid, which was a sign that the dude was like, even if you think it was an overpay, the dude played well enough to where there's still a portion of people out there that are like, yeah, pay the guy. He got him to a Super Bowl and had one of the best Super Bowl performances. The dude proved me wrong. And I know my friends are going to love this one. Reasons why I would not be a good NFL GM. CJ Stroud. It's only been one year. And I know people are going to be very happy that I am saying this because I was very wrong on CJ Stroud. Even though I like still gave him a comp that I felt was very viable, that I thought, honestly, I thought peak of his powers, Kirk Cousins was going to be his comparison. A guy that was super accurate in the pocket, could move a little bit when he needed to, because I think Kirk has grown in that area, but doesn't handle pressure that well. Good enough arm and really great touch. I shorted what I thought he could be, apparently. CJ Stroud's really damn good. He's the, like, right there with Herbert, 1A, 1B to me. Not like best in the league, but like between them two, flip a coin. One day I feel it's Herbert, one day it's Stroud. The dude was incredible. And as someone who is from the Houston area, I know what that Texans organization was. Yes, you bring in D'Amico Ryans. Yes, you bring in all this talent. But I know what that organization was. I know what the local fans say. I know what the local news reporters say. I know those thoughts and the, the stories you would hear about that organization. It's It shouldn't be understated what he was able to flip in a year. It's as impressive to me as what Joe Burrow has been able to do. And Joe Burrow, he was really able to flip the script in his second year. CJ came out bugging year one, and he didn't have a guy like Jamar Chase. Yeah, I like Nico Collins. I, My buddies told me about Tank Dell going into the draft. But I didn't think he could turn up like this. Let's not act like Damian Pierce didn't also get benched for Devin Singletary. And now Devin Singletary is pretty good. But I think because of the people moving how they feel about these players after the season they don't realize how crap of a situation it was before people were roasting the texans for coming back and getting will anderson and giving up that first round pick because they thought that the texans were still going to be bad enough where the cardinals could potentially have two top five picks and look how wrong they are now i was wrong about cj Stroud. i said that same thing about that cardinals trade and i could not be more wrong Reasons why I would not be a good NFL GM. John Ross. Pretty simple. And it's why I might have a slight towards Xavier Worthy. It might be. Because I got burned that bad with John Ross. I, it was simple. I, I don't have a major explanation for this. Outside of the fact that he broke the 40 record. And I was like, yep, that dude's going to be great. You just got to throw it deep and he's going to get open. That was like... 
right when I was really starting to get into the NFL draft. So like, I don't really have a fair reason outside of the fact that I got combine like bias whooping me. Like I thought John Ross was going to be great. And I still think about that one touchdown that he had for the Bengals where he, I think he juked someone out of his shoes. And I was like, yep, that he's coming to fruition. Nope. People at his size rarely work out, and it's why I think I'm lower on Xavier Worthy. And that comparison in and of itself, as I'm verbalizing it, might be an immaturity in my draft analysis. But then again, statistically, Xavier Worthy, wide receivers at his size, I think at best he's going to be like a wide receiver two, maybe, but not like a high-end one. Reasons why I would be a bad NFL GM. Jared Goff. I didn't see the vision. I thought he was a Sean McVay merchant. As someone that's a Seahawks fan and watched him twice a year play my team, wasn't moving me. When he was injured and he beat Seattle at home, and I think it was Russ's last year, maybe second to last, I was a Jared Goff hater. I didn't see the vision. I just thought they saw a quarterback with a decent arm. I didn't think highly of that class, so I didn't. I there was nothing for me to say that I was like, Jared Goff, he's going to be a good quarterback. I thought he was going to be painfully mid, and the dude's a viable top ten quarterback, top twelve, depending if you're like ranking Rodgers or like things like that. But Jared Goff has revived his career. I thought he was like below average. The dude's borderline great. I think he's above average, sometimes great. And that's proved me wrong. Reasons why I would be a bad NFL GM. Zach Martin. This was right when I was really paying attention to the NFL draft because of one man of Johnny Manziel, who we will talk about later. I was just wrong. I thought the Cowboys should have drafted Johnny Manziel. And even Johnny Manziel himself said he's thankful that the Cowboys didn't draft him because of what it would have done to his life. But that made me a Zach Martin hater, and he has become like one of the best guards of our generation. I was just wrong. That was just me being petty, but I was just outright wrong. And that is why I would be a bad NFL GM.